we'll, we'll synchronize. Three, two, one. Perfect. This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Give it a try. Get 10% off by using promo code rogue. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, behold, the most writingest writer in all of Modern Rogue history. It's live in person, Jordan Breeding. Thank here you. I am, yeah. Thank good you so to be much here. for coming all the yeah, way out to Austin. Yeah, it's, it's so good great. to see you. It's so great to be here in person. <laughs> so we've been going through all of your greatest hits of articles that you've written at themodernrogue.com. What are we talking about today? So, middle finger. <laughs> penis. Wait, I, is that all it is? It's, it's a penis. I used to think that this, like, Straight was the right oh, way. Oh, interesting. But 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 that that was Fletch era. Like uh, uh, Chevy Chase did it like this okay. in Fletch. But I've since come to the conclusion that like this oh, is like, better. Like, that better. gives you more of a ball sack. Those are balls. In high school, we had this argument a lot. Um, we we would always do this, and it would be pretty like loose. See, that makes that makes it look like a gang symbol. I know, <laughs> but it does mean penis. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't want to get away from that. I'm glad, I'm glad you brought us back on topic. <laughs> Roll it back to penis. Back to one. <laughs> back to one. So the first known uh, middle finger to penis connection, <laughs> as it were, there was a play, 430 BCE or something. There's a joke. BCE, that was booty crushing era. <laughs> Yes. And then what is it, just crushing era now? <laughs> we used to crush booties, now we crush it all? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, and there's a character, I think the play is called The Clouds or something. And they, the they, Clouds? Say, yeah, it's like a Greek play. But the guy is saying how when he was a child, instead of doing the normal thing, which is keeping time with your middle finger on whatever, he would tap his penis. Which is not a, which is not a trope that I'm familiar with necessarily. You clearly have not played enough Magic: The Gathering. <laughs> Do you keep time on your penis? No, to tap, tap your penis. Tap. It was a man a joke. It was. Uh, I gave away a black lotus once. They had invented like fire and the wheel by 400 BC. Uh, yeah, right? surely. And he invented tapping his penis. <laughs> As a superior way to no, no, keep no. time? No, it was a joke. I don't know if it was a throwaway Got joke or whatever, but he was like... This, he, this is not like a... He's not like, guys, check this out. It's not <laughs> like Cicero had an epiphany. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, all right. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't like this guy was so good at playing the lute <laughs> and also tapping his penis or whatever. It's in this play that still exists. So you could read the play and you could see the thing about the boy. It's good. <laughs> I only read it for the penis parts, which was not. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, in the sometime in the fourth century, which is moving forward because of time. Time. Um, Greek philosopher Diogenes probably is known to have flipped the bird at people that he didn't agree with. And and, and, <laughs> and so he meant it as he did. Yeah, uh, right. My dick, yo. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Essentially. All right. All right. And then Caligula. He, to show his dominance, he made all of his senators kiss his... So Romans used to call it the impudent finger. Impudent or imprudent? Impudent. Okay, so it's a rude. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Caligula was making them kiss it, they everybody knew it was a it was a phallus. Yeah. According to Slate. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So he's basically, hey, yes, my D. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in charge. So there was enough of a precedent before yeah. that. He wasn't just like, I thought of a thing. You guys know how this is a penis? We'll kiss it. I guess. <laughs> I'm Caligula. <laughs> but the Catholic Church eventually was like, guys, you got to stop metaphorically flipping penis at each other. So they kind of shut it down for a while, and it lay dormant until, I want to say, 1992 because they found a middle finger encased in amber and they extracted the DNA. And they made a dinosaur? <laughs> a dinosaur penis? <laughs> yeah. An anthropomorphic dong? Yeah. A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. Until there was uh, a baseball team called the Boston Bean Eaters and there was a baseball player named Old Haas. 
I mean, he had another name, but his nickname was <laughs> his nickname was Old Hoss. Oh, sweetheart, it's a boy. What should I name him? <laughs> Old, Old Hoss. Hoss. May he play for the Bean Eater someday. <laughs> he looks healthy. <laughs> and he took his rookie card. He sort of is. I mean, well, we can throw it up, but he's like flashing like that a middle finger. Oh. And it's sort of the first modern iteration of it, and people saw it and were like, nice. So there's actually multiple photos. There's like an entire baseball team, and he's in the back like, Pfft. So wait, did, did he read Caligula? <laughs> I don't know. It's actually not super clear. I don't think anybody interviewed him and asked. It, I, I think it still existed technically, but it had fallen out of favor, and it's one of those things where it's probably so rude he didn't really do it. So his rookie card recently sold for like $10,000 or $9,000. Because he was... Yeah, because it's kind of like, it was like the late 1800s. It's one of the first times it happened in the modern era. It's the first time it's photographed as far as anybody's aware. So anyway, so that's old Haas. Uh, speaking of baseball and high fives. I'm going to have to stop you there. We're going to have to wait for the next episode <laughs> on the secret origins oh of gosh. hand signals. <laughs> because we talked a lot about the middle fingers. <laughs> and there's a lot of hand signals we have to go through. <laughs> That's true. In the meantime, where can people see more of your stuff? If you go to YouTube and you look up Dr. Jordan Breeding, I have my own channel. And uh, it's pretty much like that. We're mostly talking about penises for hours. Well, uh, uh, many, many, many hours, my friend. You, you. It's a lot of hours. Uh, you, you, you're, you're a hard driving. You just keep <laughs> on going. You're, you, you, you can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, pushing. There you go. <laughs> Hello, I'm the internet's Brian Brushwood. I think it's time we all talked about Squarespace. Either you or someone you love has a message that needs to get out to the world. Good for them. However. They must not bring it up at a party. That's not a good place to do it. Instead, you should use our friends over at Squarespace. Squarespace has incredible technology that allows them to create websites that are beautiful, easy to read, scalable, with their distributed hosting, a message could go global overnight. Yes, there's no end to the benefits of Squarespace. Whether they be video blocks that allow websites to download to your handheld computing device in unparalleled time, or the award-winning designs that capture the attention of those who approach you, I trust Squarespace. So head on over to squarespace.com rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E, and when you decide to become addicted to Squarespace, Make sure to use promo code ROGUE at checkout. You'll get 10% off, and we will get a slice of money. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modernrogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. Is this backed up by science? Which part? I, I, the, the origin story. By science? <laughs> yeah, like according to whom? Well, all right. Oh no, I. I well, I'll well, I'll put it up. It's on a thing. Okay, all right. I found it. Okay. It's on the modern rogue. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs>